Okay, uh, so now I will review about the CSS. I hope that this movie will help me help you to remember all the attributes that you need for the CSS. Okay, this is the questions. You did this one already, but I will use the same thing uh, for the recording. Okay, so I will open a notepad. Okay, this one a little bit size. Okay, like this one. Okay, so uh, the first one is body, so I will write body style first, like this one. So every time the HTML see the word body, then this style would be applied to the HTML. So first one, background, it would be a color. So you write background color like this. And then after that, remember, uh, for the color, uh, we use the RGB method or RGB, I don't know, RGB color. So that one comes from the red, green, and blue in order. So if you look there, the red would be FF. Remember, if you use a hexadecimal number for the RGB, you need to start it with a hashtag. And then start with the RGB. R is red, so you write FF there. And then G for green, FF, and blue is 00. zero. Remember, two digit for its color, RGB. Okay, so at the end, you write semicolon like that once to close the, the style that you apply to the body. And then I think for the body, that's all for the background color only. And then after that, you write table because that's the next one and then again uh, if you say remember uh, when you're dealing with a CSS dealing with a table then actually you're dealing with two types of um, border that would be the border that stick to the table which is that one is called as an exterior or external line and then after that internal grid lines it will be the border that is stick to the TD of the table. So I will, because if you look on the questions, there are external line and internal grid line. So for the purpose of table, I will have table, okay, and also a TD. Now, okay, so now uh, all collapse, it says, right? So in the table, you write border because the border, the internal and the external would be collapsed joining together, so it means collapse is like a table that you see on the Excel. So uh, the attribute for that one is would be border collapse, okay, and then collapse, like this. And then we're done with that one, all solids line, so, so it would be like border, uh, the, the attribute, like I say attribute border, it would be like solid there, and then in here, also because um, in the TD there is a border so you need to be sure like that one is also solid okay um, and then external line uh, with uh, one pixel again external line related to the border that uh, that stick on the table so you write it here one px because it's a pixel okay and then the same thing internal grid line so you write here one pixel two okay solid uh, we're done with that one and border co color is a blue with no other component uh, with no other color component so it means uh, that one will be applied to both external line and also internal grid line so you put it next to the solid there and then the code would be again RGB okay uh, I don't want to have uh, red color at all so I will write zero zero and then I don't want to have uh, green color at or zero zero and then after that I want to have blue RGB right so FF again remember zero zero mean none FF means uh, full and then if it's a quarter then you're dealing with 40 80 would be half and uh, three quarter third quarter that one will be C0 okay uh, this one the same thing uh, blue color right so uh, you just write one nut the nut and then done. Remember, when you're dealing with a border, you're dealing with three 
values it would be the the width of the border whether that one is a solid line or not and then after that followed by color and no comma at all okay no comma at all and then after that the width of the table right it would be the width of the table so you enter uh, enter a new line or create a new line for the table and then you just simply write width and then that one will be 90% of the window it means that one will be uh, the width of the table would be relative uh, re related to the width of the browser if the browser becomes smaller then the table becomes smaller and it would be 90% of the the windows width okay then um, I think we're done for the table and then we can move to the next one okay it would be h1 okay again it will be like this and then font face uh, remember that that one the attribute will be font family and then look on the first choice consists of many words so um, you need to like type type the name of the font family inside the a pair of uh, quotations so it's like with this one and uh, make sure for me I will recommend you to write it exactly the same with the one that you see on the question paper okay so uh, area rounded empty bold and then uh, around surround the surround them or surround the name uh, with a quotation and then after that the default if like for example the computer doesn't have this uh, font then it means uh, just use the default sans serif that is owned by the browser so basically you just need to write like this and then after that you close it Okay, and then the next one is uh, the color. So uh, some of you still write like font color like this one, but don't, okay, in the CSS, it's only color. Okay, so for example, in the test, you still stick with the font color, check whether the color it works or not. If not, then try to play around with the attribute, maybe by erasing the font and the desk. Uh, so it will be color, and then um, the maximum blue, Okay, with no other color components, so basically you just write um, 00 RGB, right? R is 0, G is 0, and then after that, blue is maximum. So I will write it like this. And then after that, um, oh, the center. Okay, the center, uh, some of you still make a mistake like text alignment like this one. It's not like that, but it would be text align. And then some some of you still make a mistake like uh, it's a colon, okay? Uh, write something like this one as the value of a text align. Remember, in CSS, in HTML, they didn't know about, the, they don't know about the center here, but you need to write it as a center like this. Okay, and then after that, um, after that, the size. Now, this one you will use font size. Okay, and then that one will be 48 uh, px. Okay, I hope now you can remember all the attributes that you need to remember in CSS. So, in the H2, uh, enter, and then you tap, and then uh, you just write like font family is um yep it's an aerial since it consists of one word only i don't have to give a quotation there and then after that uh the um, the alternative would be the browser default uh, sans serif so i will write it like this uh oh there is still sorry um okay and then the font family and then the color now this one is a tricky uh, information okay uh, they don't put the code in order remember again the rgb thingy so start with the red it would be zero zero and then g for green zero zero and then after that a zero okay so be careful with that one quite tricky um and alignment again text align Align and then that one will be uh, uh, left, okay. And then after that again, uh, font size it will be uh, 24 pixel. And then after that uh, weight it will be uh, oh weight uh, okay weight is a font weight okay you need to memorize that one it would be bold. Um, and then after that, P is for the paragraph style, okay? 
uh, if it's an H1, H2, uh, A3, that one is a heading style. Uh, the one, uh, like H1 is the largest and then 6 is the smallest. Okay, and this one is the the format that we will apply for all P style in the HTML first is like font family. Okay, again, that one using a serif, so apply it serif. And then after that, uh, color, well, uh, it's a black. If you want to deal with a decimal number, well, uh, we will make 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. Since like if all the RGB, the red, green color, uh, give a full uh, color, it means FF, 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 then the one that you will get as a color is white. Okay, if it's 0, 0, 0, if none for all, it means it's black. Okay, you need to remember that. And then after that, color and then text align. Okay, it will be uh, align will be uh, justify. Okay, um, and then size, font size is um, 14 pixel. And then we're done with the P. And then after that, li, uh, li bulleted list. Okay, uh, this one is the list. Okay, uh, if you remember, on the SAML there is a ol, ul, ol is like ordered list, and ul is unordered list. Okay, and li is like the item of the list. Okay, um, now uh, what should we do in the li? Okay, the bullet shape. Um, I think the default one in SAML would be uh, that one is like under ul, unordered list, and then the default one, if I'm not mistaken, is a this. Now we need to make it solid square. So to change that one, you just write list style type. Okay, uh, it, it's a little bit long, but I know you, you can memorize that one. And then you make it become square. And then after that, the next one is alignment. Okay, so text align will be uh, left. Now, uh, there are several things that you need to also remember for the CSS. It's like if um, you need to give a comment in the CSS or in the HTML, you write it like this one. The starting of the comment, you need to uh, write that one, the slash and then star. And then for example, I will write my name and then ID 142. And then for example, my candidate number is like this. And then I close my comment with star and then slash. Okay, there, there are several things too that I want to uh, mention in here. Okay, another attribute that you need to remember, I will use this one, um, sorry, uh, for example, if like you want to give uh, underline, uh, if you want to use underline or you want to set an underline formatting to a particular style, then you will use text decoration and then the value would be underline. And then uh, the next one is if you want to uh, make the word italic in CSS, then you will use font style, and then after that, uh, the, the, the value of it will be italic. I think, um, and then I close it because it's a comment, so I will use this. Okay, that's all from me about the CSS. Oh, no. Um, and how to attach this CSS to an HTML. I also need to mention that one. Okay, I will open another notepad. Okay, uh, for example, if... Um, oh, where's my notepad? Wait, my, where's my notepad? We have a new one and it doesn't open. Why? Yes, yeah, so I will write ha 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 dot CSS and then all files save. Okay, I will make a new one. So weird why I cannot open a new one. 
Okay, so how to attach the CSS? Uh, this is the last one. Uh, again, um, every time you uh, see the word create a new web page, then the, the first thing you need to do is you need to write the basic structure of the HTML like this one. So HTML consists of two sections. It would be head and body. Okay, like this one. And then if you want to attach the CSS file to a, to this web page, then you will write like this on the head area link and then rel um, and then style sheet like this one and then uh, type it would be text CSS and then ref it will be well you remember right the name of the file that I have is ha 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 dot CSS and then closing backward and uh, not the causing back the quotation and then there, there you are that's how to attach the CSS to your web page thanks